All right, folks, so today I'm here to actually kind of demystify a complicated thing rather than explain to you how to do things, but same basic purpose. Uh, we've seen that some people are looking for data on the difference between WP Engine and WordPress, and some of you are probably like, next video, which is totally cool, bye. Uh, and some of you are like, yeah, that is actually a thing I was wondering. So if this is, that's you, welcome. Uh, so WP Engine hosts a thing called WordPress. The WP in its name does imply WordPress, but what's going on here? So WordPress.org is kind of the website where you go to use the open source project called WordPress. And there are a bunch of confusing terminology there. In short, open source uh, software is just stuff that people want you to know how it works and actually give you control over as opposed to something like, you know, the Netflix app, where Netflix cannot or and will not let you like know how that underlying thing functions and why it like works so well when you have bad internet or whatever. Like none of that is open because Netflix wants to keep that under control. Whereas WordPress is like, hey, this is how our entire system works. Please check it out, change it. If you make a change to it, let us know about it, that kind of stuff. So that's the core concept there. So I can get that tool and I can run it anywhere on the internet that will run this software. So that's an important thing to realize. WordPress is an open source piece of mostly PHP software that runs on a PHP web server, who can, which can be provided by one of any huge number of companies. Um, some you might know of. If I go to the hosting tab here on WordPress.org, you'll see Bluehost, DreamHost, and SiteGround. Uh, at WP Shout, our favorite is SiteGround, but all of those are going to probably serve you well for most websites most of the time. Uh, if you are interested in details, please go, you know, Google WP Shout hosting recommendations. We've got lots of words on that. Um, next, there's a site called WordPress.com. And WordPress.com is one of these places that hosts WordPress.org, the open source project. And there's a bunch of complicated interlinking there, you know, some politics, all of the, all those typical human things. But for the most part, the thing to understand is that WordPress.com is different from WordPress.org. It runs on the same software, but is actually one location that that software runs. Another is WP Engine, and another is SiteGround, DreamHost, Bluehost, who I mentioned earlier. So WP Engine is a, one of the better companies and the more um, high-end companies selling WordPress hosting. So I do a website with a, I do, I do uh, some client work with a website that gets like easily a million page views a day. And they run on WP Engine and are very happy with WP Engine because they have huge amounts of traffic. If you're just putting, say, a doctor's website online, you probably don't need to buy WP Engine hosting. SiteGround, as I mentioned earlier, will serve you more than well enough for that. It's instead for higher performance stuff that WP Engine is most targeting, but they do have a fairly affordable starting plan at $25. So understanding that dynamic of the cheapest you get WP Engine hosting is $25, whereas you can buy from other people like Bluehost or GoDaddy or SiteGround or DreamHost, much cheaper versions of WordPress hosting that are adequate for low traffic sites like your hobby or your dentist office that maybe sees a few hundred hits a day, that kind of thing. So that's how all those things fit together. So no WP Engine is not WordPress. Instead, WordPress is an open source project that you can host at WP Engine or one of many, many other sites. Another comparable um, plan to uh, host level to WP Engine, by the way, is Kinsta. And we've heard mostly better things about Kinsta than WP Engine, though not by a huge margin. Tons of people still swear by WP Engine. All right, with that, good luck out there. Cheers.